Good morning. Annie had a sleepover last night and we're making pancakes for breakfast. But we're adding a secret ingredient, right Annie? Yep. So we have we have homemade pancake mix and um and we're gonna whip that up. Let me just put this on so it can be warming up. And our secret ingredient is freeze dried butternut squash. Okay, is that, you can see that? Okay, so what I normally would do is you just take the butternut squash. And Annie, do you remember why we're using butternut squash? Because it's sweet. It's sweet, it's actually delicious, and it's healthy, right? Okay, so you can crush it. When it's freeze dried, it's very, very dry. And so you can crush it really easy. But that's kind of tedious. So I'm gonna actually put it in the mortar and pestle. And I'm just gonna do it a little bit quicker. And the reason I'm putting it in the powder, so this is just a, it's a mix, but it's a homemade mix. And I'm gonna put it in the powder and I'm not crushing it till it's completely powder. I want a little bit of texture in there but I do want it fresh. The nice thing about freeze dried as opposed to, well, one of the many nice things, as opposed to dehydrated, dehydrated is rock hard and you'd never be able to do this. You'd have to put it in the blender or give it lots of time and water to refresh. So it's very easy to use and it's quick to use. And, um, and it retains all of the nutrients. And that's the best part. And of course, it's got a long shelf life. Okay. All right, so that's it. So I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. Oh, I've got a couple pieces that are kind of big. Stir it up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put some water in. We've got some water and some oil in here. Just put that in. If you're interested in the recipe for the homemade mix, I will put that in the comments below. How easy is that, right? Actually, a person could put some cinnamon in it. Do you want cinnamon in this, Annie? Sure. Okay, Renny, go get me the cinnamon. It's up there in the pantry. On the second to the top shelf. Maybe, yep, yeah, there, that's good. Okay, thank you. She gave me the one that had a little bit of sugar in it, but that's okay. That'll be even nicer, right, Annie? Yep. <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna mix it. I think I need a little bit more water. We're just gonna mix it gently until I can't see any more powder. There, good, perfect. If you want it a little bit more um, liquidy than that, go ahead and add some more. I like it the way that it is right now. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of oil on that. Turn this up. Annie's called Grandma Great for breakfast, so hopefully she'll be coming up right about the right time. And there, let's just put that over there. So the nice thing I like about this pancake mix is it's already got eggs in it. It's already got the milk in it. All I have to do, <clears throat> and I actually could put powdered butter in it. In fact, I think I might've put a little bit in it. So really all I have to do is just put the water in it. And I choose to put the oil in it the, at the end, just because if you put the fat in earlier, then you shorten the shelf life. Annie, when we're done this, do you want to do a taste test? A what? Taste test? Sure. Okay. Do you want to get the orange, or the apple juice? Sure. Is it in the fridge? Yeah. And can you peel me one of these oranges? Jar with the, yep, that's it. I 
need to get one of these ones. They're so cool. I know. Okay, here, let me show it on. So, I should check out that lid. Isn't that cool? I love that. So that's homemade apple juice, but then it just makes it a little bit easier to pour when you can put a lid like that on it. There you go. Apple juice from last season, of course. Do you know how to use this peeler? I think so. Here, let me show you. Might as well do it here. So I'm gonna just show Annie how to do this. So you just start at the top. You've got this little peeler thing here. You just pull it down. It's so cool. And then we're gonna pull it down from all four sides. And I'm pushing in so that I'm going through the whole layer. And then, whoops, this end here, which is kind of a little spatula kind of end, I just wanna lift, break through the surface. Ah, come on, there we go. See, super duper easy. And satisfying. And satisfying. <laughs> and he's about being satisfied these days. So you know what? The thing that takes the longest about these pancakes is actually just cooking them. And I've got them on kind of high heat, so maybe I'll turn them down here. Almost done. Then we can try them. There we go. Blow, 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 blow. Mmm. That's really good. Yum. I can taste the squash, can you? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay, there you have it. What is it? It's butternut squash pancakes. Mm. With a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, it's delicious. Now I'll cook the rest of the pancakes. But I won't make you watch. <laughs> Thank you, Annie. Okay. I'll finish making these, and then we'll get on with the rest of our day. Annie had a sleepover. That's why she's here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Hi, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I'd love to hear about it. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. If you liked it, do me a favor and click the like button. If you know somebody who would benefit from it, then definitely share it with them. And if you'd like to know more about these sorts of things, then stick around.